So a little intro to the video, I've made an interview, well an interview, a little rambling video with, with a friend of mine, Amir, and he's a type 9. So that is what you guys gonna see, okay? Peace out. Okay, so let's fucking do it. So tell me... Don't worry, Amir, you don't need a fucking introduction. I'm gonna deal with that uh, later. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about the, like... Uh, fi <laughs> Let's talk about the fixation of nine, like sloth. What does that mean and how it manifests in you? Like, come on, shed some light on that so people can understand. All right. So basically it's like, um, you know, the term inertia, it's like, yes, right. It's like, like you have the you want dead. to do something. You, you start being dead inside. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like the reservation of energy. Okay. Um, basically nines have a lot of energy but like because of that inertia like <clears throat> it's to them it's like not a want it's like a need to be lazy it's so, like you have shit ton of energy but like you fear like wow. um exerting it so the ba it's, so they have uh, abundance of energy but they don't want to overextend it yeah it's like uh they do have a lot of energy and like but what's the di internal. okay if i may interrupt what's the difference yeah. between like because I, I think if I'm if if I'm wrong, correct me. But like type eights also are very um, secure. Like they want to preserve their energy level too, right? So what what would be the difference between like nine trying to preserve energy and a five? Like what do you think? Yeah, but like within within nine, it's like within eight, there's like a uh, need to dominate. No, I mean five. Nine. I meant five. Oh, you mean five? Five, yes. Because yeah, fives um... also want to preserve their resources and energy level, right? Yeah, it's because five is like an objection type. Okay. So like, okay. They object to use resource. They feel like at loss whenever they share uh, something. Okay. So yes, yeah, the part. Okay. Okay. So this is different. The motivation is completely different, obviously, even though it might seem similar. Okay. Yeah, so, it's like a loss versus fear thing. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's let's proceed. Okay. You were talking about the inertia thing. Yeah. Um. It's like basically you have the the uh, you have the actual one. Like you have the yeah. This like um, dormant energy. It's like a volcano, you know. You okay, have that's that good lava inside. Yeah, you have that lava inside you, but like it's dormant. Like it's not gonna come out unless it's like an extreme situation or something. Okay. So like, yeah, this is like how inertia manifests. Like basically, just wanna chill. It's like. So that so that's basically also why they tend to be uh, SI bases, right, in socionics, because that kind of correlates very well with comfort and yeah uh, so what about okay so we know that they want to be lazy that seems pe because people people will kind of argue that oh being lazy is not a trait of nine but actually like you will have a tendency to want to vibe and relax and chill right and indulge in that but what about nines because as we know if we looked at the obesity rate by the way no offense to all, all the other nines that uh, the obesity rate is probably going to be filled with nines so that tells us that they love to indulge in sensory yeah, sure. uh, stuff. So, like, why is that? Like, why is that a, s such a core a component of nines? Like, indulging um, in what kind of sensory... Uh, what do they indulge in, anyway? I think it's because um, nine is a concrete type. So, like, actually, I'm going to quote Naranjo here. No, no problem. He said... He said, like, um, nine, they view their fat levels, like Let's actual go. fat Let's levels, go. as their shield. Yeah. <laughs> so. I can imagine people re is re watching this video and be like, man, fuck Naranjo, I hate him. Hate comment. <laughs> no, no, but okay, so, okay, go on. Sorry. It's like those nine sitting on the couch, be like, talking they have shit. Like this excessive, like, fat levels. Yes. And, like, they, they view this, like, it's not a negative. It's like, it's oh. their actual shield and security. Yeah. And so, like, when when you have this layer of, of protection, fat. yeah, yeah, and um, <clears throat> it kind of like relaxes them actually, which it like it keeps their energy inside because like fat is basically energy, and when you exert it, it's not gonna burn. So like they keep it inside. It's like it's an actual wow. physical concrete type of about how it manifests in like laziness, inertia, indolence, all those things. Because people forget, people. Uh, that's why there's an argument that uh, nines, um, like obviously an SP9 would never be an intuitive type. That's because of what you just said. There's such a concrete and grounded sensory type. There's no way that they can work mm. with an intuitive uh, base, you know? It's never going to happen. 
also so, because it's yeah. a very survivalist type. Like if you put a nine in a very demanding environment to survive, they would actually thrive. Like your, your microphone's cutting off. Like it's making oh. weird noises. Sorry. Um, okay. I was saying um, for an SP9, it's like yeah. a survivalist. Okay. It's so like if you actually put them in a very demanding environment to survive. Yeah. Like somewhere with minimum resources, they they gonna thrive. Like the other they're, they're storing the, they're storing survive. the fat, and they're like, now I'm gonna use the fat because I'm on this <laughs> uh, uh, island. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's smart. It's smart. This is how fat actually works. Like in our body, it's like of course it's reserved there in case mm -hmm. of a famine happens. Like it's yes. evolutionary. Yeah, so something like, happens. Something you have that additional that, fat yeah. to survive, and you still have the additional energy. Yeah, that makes so perfect like they sense. They have the upper hand. In that That's area. what I'm telling you. What do you think? I like nines. Why do you think I like SLIs? Because that's why, dude. Like, <laughs> they're based. But let's <laughs> let's let's look at something else. Some other qualities. So, mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of COVID. What about like the they call they say that a nine wants to numb themselves out. Like, how does that manifest? Like, what yeah. is that about? <clears throat> it is actually a coping mechanism for the nine. You know, like basically when you feel sad and right. worthless. Okay. It's like. Yeah, coping, nine, basically like coping. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, it like the most primitive way to cope with that kind of thing, like the most instinctive way. Yes. It's yeah. just indulging in drinks, alcohol, smoking, which a lot of nine do, like as a coping mechanism, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, it's not yeah. like it's not like for the eight is entertainment. It's like, yeah, yeah, fun, that's fun. Gonna smoke. Yeah, for the nine, it's actual coping. So that's why so like, that that also leads to like more more issues like with health and 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 uh, obesity yeah. even because they indulge in alcohol and, and they they say so they basically want to uh, would you say they also do, like do drugs uh, anything to numb themselves out to kind of stop <laughs> feeling yeah, the pain sure. okay so that's kind anything of anything that works yeah would you say you would you say personally do you relate to that to that quality because I know you're kind of yeah, a fit guy I, I I used to like this kind of coping mechanism like. I used to actually when I whenever I felt sad I was like I'd munch on a sandwich or like a burger <laughs> or something. Fucking fatty, let's go. <laughs> let's and actually, go. it works. Like it calms you down. Like so, you eat and you yeah, after yeah. the sandwich you just feel like everything is okay. Yeah, we yeah. moved on. <laughs> so, but okay. So, but listen, you're cutting weight. You everyone knows you this bodybuilder. He is the dad bodybuilder, and <laughs> like you want to be in shape. So, how do yeah. you handle the fact that you have this tendency to cope like that, but then you can't indulge in it? So, you just try to avoid being sad, yeah. or what's the like logic? Here? It's like there's strength. I mean, see that like being like fit or like going to the gym or whatever, it's like a substitute, but like not full substitute. Cute, like of course yeah <laughs> i can still indulge in other shit but like it feels so like i don't know like it feels so good but, but like i also feel bad do you think sometimes. you could easily slip and start indulging more than you should because you know you need to have a straight yeah. diet do you think it could be easy for you to let, let I've go consider quitting like seriously quitting the whole fit like <laughs> fit grind yeah. a lot of times <laughs> i was okay. like bro like who okay. like because I'm not like I'm actually doing it for myself, not others. So like, <laughs> yeah. At this point, why should I give a fuck? But then I was like, nah, I, I should resume. It's it seems like a good like endeavor, you know. Yeah, no, it, it, <laughs> it, it, that's true. Okay, so what about because that's 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 their heavy gut type, of course, and also they mm -hmm. numb themselves out as a coping mechanism. We already know all of that. So what about the whole idea that I don't know that the one of the many qualities that nines have is that they're very passive and they want to minimize their own needs so they tend to go with the flow of other people do you think that's true like what is that about yeah i think the, the, the like nines is like kind of agreeable even if they they're not actually agreeable like they right. tend to go with the flow because they want to seem generous right and like uh you know like group loving and stuff right because this makes them like less uh, to be a target you know for the other stuff like it's it's actually a trait of nine to actually thin like being dumb being this weak person so like an actual strong person or predator be like yeah this dude is weak as hell like so should oh, i bother him? dude this reminds me of the 
fuck, this reminds me of the mo- uh, show. You you know Euphoria? Euphoria? Like it's a like so, the teenager. Yeah, the show. teen, the stupid fucking degenerate teenage <laughs> show, right? <laughs> yeah. I remember, yeah, yeah. But I, there was this scene with the Type 9 who was very unassuming guy, but he was actually a drug dealer. And he was mm-hmm. unassuming. Like, he was just very passive and very quiet yeah. and withdrawn, chill. Very chill, like, my God, such a 9. A sly 9. Yeah. And this Nate Jacobs guy, the main character, like, tried to pick on him and... and he the SLI threatened him, you know, if you still keep doing this, I will kill you. So once on a party, they met and he was like talking, they were kind of exchanging mm-hmm. some words. And then the SLI guy out of nowhere took a bottle and smashed this, this, this <laughs> fucking Nate's head and kept fucking smashing his face, dude. He, he landed in hospital. Yeah. And you know, it's funny because <laughs> Nate didn't see it coming. He, he was like, yeah. uh, he's just a passive, like little dweeb. What's yeah. he going to do to me? And that guy was about that life. So with nines, there's very... They might seem unassuming, but be careful. That doesn't mean that they're fucking pussies. Like, they will, they don't fuck around, okay? Yeah. So you guys remember that. It is like a trait. You know, like, some animals actually do this. Yeah, it's they like faint, like, actual, oh, I'm just so small. Yeah. Like, but I'm actually a fucking predator, nigga. Like, that's yeah. what they do. <laughs> yeah. This is like an actual physical, like, environmental thing. Yeah, Not so... Like, yeah. So let's see. Um, so we we discussed a lot of it. Is there anything um, anything else to kind of talk about nines? Um, you want to go through misconceptions if you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was actually good that you kind of remember that. I wanted to go from the most common misconceptions because there are. I've seen many uh, type eights being mistyped as type nines, like some of the eight uh, nines that. The si- you know the silent badass archetype that kind yeah, of yeah. Jay want to vibe, but if you fuck with them, they'll fuck you up. And people tend to kind of think it's an eight. So like John Wick. Yeah, and uh, some like uh, you know Clint Eastwood. Some of Clint Eastwood's yeah. uh, movies where he's kind of like a silent grumpy grand uh, grandpa, and you know they think it's an eight, but actually it's just a nine. Yeah, Who it's a nine. Nine. So what are the common misconceptions in your opinion? Um, I think we've gone through the intuitive thing, like for this P9. Oh, yes. So, guys, uh, newsflash: SP9 cannot be intuitive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, but this is not even. A, but this isn't even like some controversial opinion. It's just logic, you know. It's not a, really yeah, a hot take. It's not a hot take. Okay. Um, I think another one is like nines are like don't have a personality or like they're not deep or like. They're just there, or NPCs. I think okay, this NPCs. That's one of the biggest ones. Yeah. That you guys are just bland and boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. like, <laughs> so what do you think about that? Like being so fucking boring? No, I'm I deep. Think, you know, this like fits because we actually want to be shown as NPCs so like people don't bother us. But like if you meet a nine and get close like to him, you th- he'd, he'd be like deep as hell. Like, especially if they have, like, their heart fixed as four or something. Especially if, if they, they smoke do. some weed. Oh, man, yeah. it's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, this is a big misconception. Yeah, People because they might, most, like, be, they're very withdrawn and, and kind of cut off. And they don't want to go with go the flow. Through. Yeah, go, they, they go with the flow. But deep inside, they can have many, like, emotions. Like, I remember even the character from Red Dead Redemption 2. You know Arthur Morgan? Yeah, Arthur Morgan. And that's, He's like, really that's an guy. example of a that's a great example of the type i think and he also is very deep you'd never think that of him but this guy has a journal where he's like a fucking artist and shit yeah like yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> so that's c- like, certainly there you think he's just like some criminal like yes but like outlaw, you know outlaw that's, that's big guy yeah. but like yeah. he's actually deep on a, on a personal level. yes like he has his personal issues personal stuff. yeah for yeah. sure this anything else lines. um not sure. I think th- those are like the big, big ones. Um, what about okay? So what about like common mistypes that you m- that okay? So what about the common mistypes that m- people might think they're nine, but they might be actually another type? So what types can think they're nines? What do you think are the common mistypes here? Um, the, probably five and an eight. I what, doubt one. What I about think. like someone like SP four? Could an SP four think they're nine? Oh. Uh... No, I think it's before with C9 as like this, like when they read descriptions, like on a superficial level, they'd be, oh yeah, this is just another NPC type. I'm, 
not individualistic yeah. enough for me. <laughs> right, uh, NPC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it's before I would not mistype as a knife. So, yeah. so uh, five. Obviously, I see yeah, uh, many like ISTP fives. Sure. Actually, yeah. from my experience, they just uh, ISTP nines. So, um, because both types are withdrawn, withdrawn types. Both are like you know aloof and detached and, you know, mm -hmm. and all of that. So code, yeah. it it can be. But what would be the easiest way to tell those types apart, in your opinion? What's the easiest way to tell apart mm -hmm. a five from a nine, in your opinion? In a hot take. Um, I think if you say they're not no, fat, um... if they're not fat, they're <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's just more like mental stuff with a five. Like, just go over like their book collection. If you see so, right. someone like their book collection has more of like, oh, cooking shit, self help, okay. try and get like, you know, trying to get fit, get trying food. to, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. This is more of a nine, and like the five stuff is like just typical intellectual. So stuff, basically, like, five like, look for mental uh, focus, but that's more life. geeky, yeah. more fucking geeky, and and and. And should check if he's a virgin. If he's a virgin, <laughs> might be a five. No, 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 yeah, no I'm yeah. kidding, man. Five should go and kill me, man. You fucking see this video. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, that's 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 basically, um, uh, I yeah, I, I have this like, I know someone, someone who was like very overweight, and I'm talking like he was like fucking 130 kilograms, which is like 300 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I think he might be a nine, or he's either a nine or a six, but. The guy numbed himself out by like drugs, like like just food, 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 alcohol, alcohol, and because he yeah. was in a bad situation, so that's how he dealt with it. He didn't even, you know, what's funny? He didn't confront the problem. He just tried to it's numb good. himself out. Yeah. So that's. So what do you think is like the weakness of nine? Like, what are some of the traps that they might fall into? Some yeah, of the behaviors. I think, yeah probably overindulging in like the coping mechanisms like or being way too sheltered of like not trying to do new things because like they have this robotic um orientation or like okay. routine 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 doing eating the same things doing the same things so they're very routine oriented this... yeah for sure yeah because it gives them like comfort like more control mm -hmm. of the environment when you have more control of the environment, like you'd be more satisfied, more happy. That's perfect. When you yeah. Do the same things, try the same things. Like for a nine, you should like try touch grass, basically. <laughs> <laughs> what the C nines? Listen, all you have to do, you fat fuckers, is, is to touch grass. <laughs> no, but uh, so what about uh, like a growth point for a nine? If you, you're a like fit nine, what would you like t tell people? Like, what is the growth point for a nine? Like, what does a nine have to do to become the best version of themselves? Yeah, I think uh, with this, like, they should be more open with people and, like, try not less, be less copy with the actual sensory stuff. Try read, like, some intuitive stuff and, like, try enjoy it and not just be like, oh, this is yeah. way too big brain for me. Fuck this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So engage not just in the sensory yeah, world. The physical world yeah 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 not the Something physical world beyond. Yeah. yeah yeah for sure this helps the nine a lot uh, to grow because like they see a different perspective to their actual worldview and be like oh holy shit there's a there's more to it there's more to the yeah. world yeah and like they realize this and be like okay i'm gonna mix both and like it will and that's a superpower yeah basically so let's you have both yeah so what about like i know you you have very controversial opinion about the whole like type nine wings, the wings of 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 mm -hmm. uh, anagram. But what would you tell people? Because there are some MBTI people, like or like people who are interested in anagram, and and they um, are confused about the wings. Like how do they? How are they supposed to perceive wings? Like nine wing one against nine wing eight. How would you differentiate it? Because I know mm -hmm. you have mixed opinions about like wings. But what's your take on that? Okay, by principle, like in my opinion, it does not really matter that much. Okay. The decent wing, because you carry both traits. You carry traits of one and eight by default by being a nine. Right. And right. to differentiate, it, it's like you lean more towards the adjacent type. That's like basically it. If you relate more to uh, being type eight, then probably be nine wing eight. If you relate more to like being more principled, like 
more rigid more, yeah, than more rigid. probably nine wing one. So it's not so basically it's, it's not that deep, and yeah. wings don't actually affect types as much as some people think. Yeah, wings are like a dessert, basically. Like a little flavor, right, on top of the core. Yeah. So, um, so okay. So, any examples of uh, type nines that you think in fiction, or maybe some uh, some type nines that people might uh, know about? Because uh, what yeah, do you think? I'm gonna give like some hot takes here, though. <laughs> Let's go hot takes. This is hot takes channel. <laughs> Let's um, go. I'm gonna start with Mike from Breaking Bad. I don't know if people know him. I mean, I know him. I know him. him. Yeah. I know him. Yeah, I think he's a nine. I, um, I, I do agree. Okay. Yes. <laughs> John Wick also is a nine. Uh, John. Yeah, okay. So if I may, cause this is a hot, this is going to start a fucking debate for war. <laughs> but listen, I'm not really against this typing because I know people type him a six and, and right. Six. Right. And I'm yeah, not typing six and eight. And I'm like, I don't, he's hundred percent nine and eight, like billion, million, trillion percent nine and eight. And I don't see a six. And I think a nine would probably be the best fit. So I do agree with you. Okay, yeah. next. Um, we've gone through Arthur Morgan from Arthur Morgan, guys. Red Dead Redemption Two, really cool fucking SLI nine character. Anything else? Um, you know the dude was um, from True Detective. You think he's a nine? I thought he was a five. Yeah, I, I, I'm not Okay, sure. you're, like, hot I you're hot taken. You're hot taken. Go fuck yourself. I'm you quitting the fucking stream. No, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, okay, guys, for you, for some of you don't know, Amir, he is a hot taker. He is 100% yeah. <laughs> a hot taker. Like, I'm telling you, don't get triggered in the comment section. Don't bash him. Please, go easy on him. <laughs> no, but, okay, uh, anything else? Or that's all? Yeah, I mean those are like the, the main ones, the most, yeah, the the most famous, famous ones. Yeah, yeah okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's 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 really it. And let me just think. Maybe there is something more to add, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm fucking thinking because this is obviously me and you are just fucking chatting shit. This is spontaneous. <laughs> this is improvised, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, because okay, so. Let's talk about this one, actually. So, like, we know that, you know, we know, some of us, all of us, that you have been mistyped previously. A lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> how did you finally arrive to being type 9? What was the breakthrough moment for you? And how, like, because some people might relate to the struggle mm -hmm. of not of being mistyped. How did you f f figure out that you're a 9? Um, I think basically it's always been there. I just wanted like some external push because for a nine, you just don't know yourself internally. Like you, you know jack shit about yourself. <laughs> so you're disconnected this, from your identity, also. Yeah. Okay. This is a big point for a nine. So like they can easily miss that because they'd be like, oh wow. Yeah, yeah. That's you don't know yourself so basically. Yeah, you don't okay. fucking know I'm yourself. Yeah. So I was. I used to type as a one, then I got I remember. To six. Mm. Right, yeah. Like it's been a fucking It's honestly it's been a ride. I mean I've yeah, been, it's been a ride. around you <laughs> when you were typing that and you were a very confusing person to type, especially when I didn't know you that well. And and people and also I feel like people's perception of uh, of others it also plays into typing and, and, and people jump on mm. a bandwagon and it's it's terrible, you know, but that's kind of common in typology. So yeah, for sure. You needed that push, but I mean, you knew type nine, like you've read the trace structure. So, yeah. what made you like finally be like, "Oh shit, okay, I'm a nine. Anything in particular? <sighs> I Any think traits? It was just like um, just perceive, like look, um, like looking at myself from a third, like third person view. I know this is hard for a lot of nines trying to project yourself and yeah. looking at yourself. Yes, it's, for, it's from very a detached hard thing. view. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very hard to do. So I, I was like, okay, wh why do I type one? Like, what? Yes. Why? <laughs> so you sat <laughs> like, down and start analyzing yourself. Master. Yeah, like, yeah. You should sit down, analyze yourself, stop brushing yourself. Try learn about yourself more, which helps. Yeah. And that's when you realize <laughs> you're probably a nine because that makes. And honestly, yeah, yeah it doesn't make sense because, like, if you really ignore the superficialities, 
the, the motivations, fixations of, of one is just fears not there. Too. The fears of one are really not there, you know? Yeah. But yeah. listen, it journey of typology is kind of crazy sometimes. You know, we we it mistype, is. we... So, and often I feel like we kind of hyper-focus on one thing and try to justify it to ourselves or to other yeah, people. Yeah, for sure. Being all, so this, this one yeah. trade, while ignoring... All the 50 other traits of type 9 that are type 9 that we just ignore and we don't pay attention. For That's sure. the problem yeah. with typology. It's kind of like looking at the big picture and just taking, um, like zooming in in one place and being like, oh, this fits exactly. this type. And it's like, yeah, but you're not looking at the big picture, right? So yeah. uh, that's it, boys, for uh, type 9. Uh, Amir, uh, the infamous type 9 of the community, <laughs> the bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> the 12 percenter <laughs> some of you might know but yeah um, on to the uh, next so say bye yeah, amir because i'm gonna end right. there thank you for having me see you guys let's go